Mark, <laughs> the opposition uh, said they will take part, but they will not take part in the uh, elections of the various seats or, you know, the speaker, et cetera, et cetera. Is that right or wrong? You know, it's it's a tricky thing mm. and, and it's it's a heavy gambit for them because for you to vote for a speaker, you need to have two thirds in parliament. Oh. Okay. Now, if parliament is not correctly constituted, you cannot then vote for a speaker. Now, here's the question. What do they want to gain? Because there are two gambits here being played. The first gambit is at the presidential level, where you want to put uh, salient pressure on the Supreme Court without saying you're putting pressure. Mm -hmm. On the other side, would be pushing for, because Jubilee has majority, okay? And maybe you want the deputy speaker position, mm -hmm. or you want the chairman of certain boards, uh, uh, parliamentary select committees, yes. to come to your side. Now, if that is the move they're making, clever move. Mm -hmm. If the move is to fight for them, to have controlling interest in, within parliament, knowing that there's a super majority on the Jubilee side, that's a very smart move for them. Outside of that, it will be an exercise in futility because at the end of the day, mm -hmm. Parliament's business must continue. And it cannot continue until and unless you select a speaker. It is the first thing you have to do. So they could do it just to frustrate but if they're smart, they could do it to bargain. Yes, that's what they should use it for. Because you see, when you're a minority in parliament, mm. what you need to do is be able to maneuver. You have to be creative in how you'll have influence in that house. Okay, And how do you get influence? Get to be the chairman or the deputy chairman of certain important committees, mm. the finance committee, for example, you know, the committee on uh, the on uh, parliamentary business. You need to be able to negotiate that. So if they're going to stay away to push Jubilee to give them some uh, concession on maybe let's have a deputy speaker, let's have uh, the leader of a certain committee to come from our side, then that <coughs> makes sense. But for just for the sake of grandstanding, it will not have good political mileage for them moving forward because the challenge they have is you're a super minority. How do you remain relevant for five years when you're a minority? You have to be very smart in how you negotiate and how you use the opportunities that you have to win long-term political mileage mm. and not short-term PR. Would Jubilee, sorry, would Jubilee want to give up a deputy speaker position? Uh, if I was Jubilee, mm. okay, I would realize that I have huge, huge power within parliament. Okay, mm -hmm. Jubilee today, outside of changing anything in the constitution, can pass any bill they want just by caucusing their own MPs. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and because it's not a coalition per se, they have some coalition partners, but they have 173 uh, members of parliament yeah. already without uh, adding the nominated and their coalition partners. Wow. So they have a simple majority already. Mm -hmm. So in that case, case with great power comes great responsibility mm -hmm. that's what jubilee should be playing at the time where they almost had 50 50 numbers with uh, uh cord then yeah. is gone mm -hmm. now you have the majority what you need to come out as is as someone who's looking to make peace with the other side mm -hmm. versus bullying the other side uh -huh. and if you bully the other side it becomes david versus goliath you always look bad right Good point. Wow. Good point. Almost are the same thing that I wanted to ask. Mm -hmm. NASA might be <coughs> facing a very hard time yeah. this, in this August house. Mm. Uh, what do you think? They will face a very hard time yeah. in trying to pass anything, try to argue anything. Any votes might not swing their way mm. in the next five years. You know, absolutely. The, the truth of the matter <laughs> is that NASA cannot muscle enough MPs to push any particular agenda by themselves. Now, when you realize that, you have to realize you've got one powerful chip that you can use. It's called public sentiment. Okay? You've got to have the loudest whistle, the most eloquent speakers and that's why whoever they choose as leader of the minority and their whips in parliament mm. have to be people who are extremely vocal and eloquent and able to call out the government on their mistakes they're gonna miss me are they 
yes you know they need and this is the one of the biggest the saddest things about both houses of parliament we've sort of lost the people who are eloquent in both houses of parliament mm. in fact if i were them i would have nominated martha Karua. Because you need someone who is known to standing up against power. Yeah. You see, yeah. that's who you need. But if NASA is going to play token politics, where, oh, you supported me very much, here's a position for you, they will lose it. Because what they need to understand is probably, most likely, Jubilee is going to hold together because uh, Ruto and Uhuru are not competing. Mm -hmm. You understand? Uhuru knows that by 2022 he is done. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So, Jubilee is probably going to hold together more or less. You know, politicians never really hold together. Mm -hmm. But it's going to hold together more or less until 2022 you as nasa mm -hmm. first there's going to be probably in fighting because who's going to run for 2022 mm -hmm. okay and then that splits nasa into a dm mm -hmm. and wiper and all yeah. these uh, different parties mm -hmm. and then you still have the problem of being a minority so what do you need you need someone who's a powerful voice to speak to you and then you stop fighting the battle of numbers in parliament you fight the battle of the minds of the kenyans that's, that's what you do goal. wow they're in a tough position place a, a, a rock and a rock <laughs> <laughs> Between a hard place and a narrow place. <laughs> 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 the Hot Breakfast with Jeff and Jelano.